Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kayla if you're new here, and today's video is going to be all about how to reinvent yourself for 2024. Now that it just hit January and we're all looking up how to become a better me, how to reinvent myself, how to do this, how to do that, I figured this would be the perfect time to put out this video and show you guys how we can all reinvent ourselves this year. My first tip I have for you is to dig deep. Figure out what you really want to change about yourself. It could be as deep as your personality and how you react to things, or just how clean your home is, or how you want to style your hair. So for things like personality and mental health and everything like that, you can look up shadow work. So you can do like shadow work prompts on Pinterest and Google, and they'll kind of be like, what is something you feel guilty about? What is something that triggers you? Things that are actually going to make you really think about things and make you think about yourself. If I was thinking about something I'd wanna change about myself, it would be like the way I react to things because I could react a lot better to things. My attachment style, which I'm currently working on the secure attachment style and just keeping my space more clean. The good thing about all of these things that I just listed is that you can change all of them. But you have to remember that it all starts and it all ends with you. Your future is in your hands. Whatever your future looks like, it is completely up to you. Number two, your mind is going to believe whatever you tell it to believe, okay? If you're sitting here and you're like, I am so ugly, I am so useless, I'm this, I'm that, you are going to believe that you are that. We train our minds to believe what we tell it to. So instead of speaking bad about ourselves and telling our mind that we are bad people and this and that, we need to start speaking positively about ourselves. We need to start saying, you are so smart, you're so beautiful, you are this, you are that. All these good things instead of all of the bad. Because like I said, we train our mind what to think. So if I am sitting here and constantly bashing myself every single day, I am only going to think that about myself. Now you can do positive affirmations every morning and every night if you wanna do it that way, or you can just simply say nice things about yourself throughout the day. If you finally accomplish something that you've been working towards, go reward yourself and go get like ice cream or pick out a new shirt that you like. Tell yourself, wow, I did an amazing job. I am really smart. I am proud of myself. We don't need other people to tell us these things as much as we want them to. We don't need them to. The person that we really need to hear that from is ourselves. Number three, take care of yourself. So shower every day, brush your teeth every day, you know, do your, do your hygiene stuff every single day. You already know. Go to the dentist, go to the doctor's office, get your regular checkups, your fillings, whatever you need done, get that done. If you don't like makeup, you do not need to wear it. Maybe just put like some moisturizer on your face, something to keep it moisturized, of course and put chapstick on or if you want to wear lip gloss totally up to you if you don't like going out to get your nails done and spending a ton of money which i really don't mind i just don't like sitting there for hours and if you don't like to do that just simply paint your nails at home or you can just get something from dollar tree like the little filing set that they have and maybe a clear coat also research vitamins vitamins can be really beneficial to you and for me every day I take two multivitamin gummies and I also take a lot of other vitamins. One of them being the evening primrose oil and I really love this. I feel like this has actually helped clear my skin up a lot in the last month or so. So I'll definitely keep taking this and I have a bunch of vitamins. If you guys want to see a video on that let me know and so far they've all been really helping me. Also of course drink your water and eat good foods, eat fruit, vegetables, you guys know the drill, you know how it is. And of course get good sleep. You don't want to go to bed at 5 in the morning and wake up at 3 in the afternoon. You don't want to do that to yourself, I promise it's not good for you, okay? I've been there, I've done that, not a good thing to do. Um, don't do it, okay? <laughs> Just try to get into a good sleeping schedule. Of course, some nights like tonight, it is almost midnight and I'm staying up filming. But of course, just try almost every single night if you can to get into a good sleeping schedule. And of course, taking care of yourself and doing all this is going to make you a lot more confident as well. Okay, next, find your signature scent, your signature hairstyle, vibe, all of that. So I actually have some perfume recommendations for you. This first one is Burberry, and I can't tell you how much I use this. This is probably the most frequently used by me. I absolutely love it. Then I have the Azario. I usually only wear this if 
I'm like going out to a restaurant. This is more, I'd say elegant and I really do enjoy this smell. And this is the Versace. Honestly, this one you can wear every single day as well. I also wear this almost every single day. It's between this and the Burberry, but this one has more of like a sweeter scent to it. And then of course, with your perfume for your scent, you're going to want to find a signature lotion. Now, of course, you need to find a good lotion. I personally use this every single day. This is the EOS Shea Butter Body Lotion. This vanilla cashmere scent is amazing. You guys have to go run and get this. This scent is amazing. And this is definitely the best body lotion I've probably ever owned. So I hope that kind of helps you figure out your signature scent, meaning um, perfume and lotion. You should definitely go check those out. And for the signature hairstyle, you could either do an updo, like a bun. You could let your hair down and curly or straight, however you have your hair. You could do half up, half down, a bun in the back, whatever you want. For your style, you could be more of like a beige girl, maybe like black and whites, maybe pinks, blue, whatever you feel looks best on you and whatever you feel most confident in. Also, if you like to listen to a certain type of music, for me personally, I have been heavy on SZA. I don't know about you guys, but I, I love listening to her, okay? I listen to her every single day. There's just something about her music, okay? Like, if you know, you know, I love her music. So tying all of that in together, how you smell, what you wear, what kind of music you listen to, all of that will play a part in your signature look. The next one is set boundaries and learn when to say no. This is a big one because this also goes hand in hand with self-respect. If you are not okay with the way someone's treating you, they are crossing your boundaries time after time after time, you need to self-reflect and think, do I want this person in my life? Are they just using me? Are they just negatively impacting my life? You need to figure out and really have that self-respect and figure out if you want them in your life. You need to cut off people who make you feel absolutely crappy about yourself, okay? You do not need them in your life. People will treat you not only how they feel about you, okay? Listen, people will not only treat you how they feel about you, but they will also treat you however you allow them to treat you, okay? If they are sitting there and crossing your boundaries and doing this and doing that, and you allow it every single time, you allow it the first, second, third, fourth, fifth time, that sixth time, they're gonna go and they're gonna do it again because you allowed it the first five times. That's just the truth. We allow people to treat us a certain way and expect them not to do it. But we are allowing them to treat us this way. So, I mean, what are we expecting? That is something that I know that I need to work on. I will let someone treat me this way and be shocked when they do it again. What are you doing? Like, you know that they're going to do it the sixth time. You let them do it the other five. I mean, what's going to change? So, I'm just telling you guys. People will treat you however you let them treat you, okay? And people will treat you however they feel about you. Please remember that. Next, stop procrastinating. Stop being lazy. Think of any goal that you want to accomplish. For me, my goal is to get back into content creation and make this a full-time thing eventually. I just want to give it the most effort that I possibly have, okay? I want to put my all into this. I want to put all of my effort into being a content creator. So if one of your goals is to be a content creator, this is what you need to do. You need to do it every single day and don't give up. You need to think about what would a full-time content creator be doing right now? Don't think about what you are doing right now, someone who wants to be a content creator. Think about one of your idols, someone that you really look up to in the YouTube or the content creation space. What do you think that they're doing? What do you think their day looks like? So when I think about someone who is always doing content creation, makes full-time income off of it, is extremely happy with what they're doing, I am thinking they are recording, they're editing, they're planning out content and new ideas. They're posting on social media platforms, not just YouTube, but maybe TikTok, Instagram, trying to get the word out there that they are a YouTuber and trying to find new supporters. It doesn't matter if you have five people watching you. It doesn't matter if you have 500 people watching you. You need to show up every single day as the person who is already there. You need to act like you are already there. You need to act like you are already that person. The next one, understand that you have to be okay with being alone. Now, it's okay to be around other people, your boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, friends, family, whatever. You have to be secure within yourself and not lean on other people for happiness. 
That's not fair to them and that is not fair to you. This is also known as having a secure attachment style. So you want to be secure, but if you're someone who is constantly texting someone or multiple people like a million times a day and probably draining their energy and annoying them, even if you are the attachive type, you really have to take some time and just learn how to be with yourself. Spamming people's phones constantly, overbearing them. Where are you? What are you doing? Where'd you do this? Would you do that? That only pushes them away. You might think, oh, we're talking more, so we're becoming closer. No. Reality check, that is going to drive them right away, okay? I learned from firsthand experience that that is what that can do, okay? You cannot overbear people and expect them to come closer to you. They are going to run, okay? They're going to run. You do not want them to run, you gotta chill out. You need to learn how to spend time with yourself. If you actually want them in your life, you need to think about you first. And I always thought that was so cliche to hear. I'm like, how are we gonna work out if I'm thinking about me? Trust me, it works. I'm telling you 100% of the time, it works. The next one is to find a hobby. Whether it be content creation, writing, reading, maybe taking up a new business, whatever it is, find something that you can be passionate about and that you can do every single day and love it. Keep your space clean and organized. I promise you are going to feel so much better about yourself and about your home if you just keep it clean and organized. I have a lot of cleaning to do myself right now, so it's not saying like 100% of the time you have to be clean and organized. Would it be nice? Yes, but the reality is we live in our homes, they're going to get messy, but just try to stay on a little schedule or whatever you need to do to keep it organized and clean. If you see something is getting a little bit messy and you have the time, just take a few minutes out of your day and maybe put on like a 10 minute timer on your phone and see how much you can get done. Along with taking care of yourself, have a self-care day just for yourself, just for you, okay? So have a bubble bath maybe, or a hot shower, whichever one you prefer. You know, order some cookies or your favorite cupcakes or candy or dessert, whatever. Have some hot chocolate, maybe some wine, maybe some coffee. I don't know, whatever you like, whatever drink food you like, you know what I mean? Light some candles if that's your thing. Put on a good movie or a show. Maybe you like Gossip Girl, maybe you like Grey's Anatomy. Whatever your thing is, put that on. Whatever your favorite self-care things are, just do it that day, okay? Have this one day to yourself and do all of your favorite things on this day. Budgeting and finances. What are you spending too much money on and how are you allocating your money? For example, are you spending too much money on fast food? Are you spending too much money on online shopping or in-person shopping? I already know what I have a lot to say about. I know I online shop a little bit too much. I might eat out a little bit too much. It's it's our it's a New Year's resolution, okay? We got to change all of this. I know. But whatever it is, write it down and try to start fixing it. Also, start saving money, okay? If you make $1000 every 2 weeks, let's say, put away $10 if you can every time. 20, 50, however much you can put away and still be comfortable, put that away. Also, if you have any debt, definitely try to work towards paying it off. Clean your phone out. Delete those apps that you don't even use. Delete the contacts, the people that shouldn't even be there in the first place. They used you. They weren't good friends. Whatever. You haven't talked to them in years. I don't care. Whatever it might be, Delete their number, okay? Block them. It does not matter. Get them out of your phone. Photos, videos, clear up your storage so you can make new memories, new videos, new pictures. You know the deal. And of course, the last one, and this is one I really need to work on, okay? It is to stay ready so you don't have to get ready. And I'm sure a lot of people have heard this before, but it's pretty much get ready every single morning, you know, do what you have to do so that say someone spontaneously wants to pick you up in an hour cool i'm already dressed don't need to get ready say you just want to lounge around the house but someone calls and you have to go do something cool already ready don't even worry about it i'm on my way this is going to change your life and not only that it is going to make you feel so much better about yourself okay you are going to feel so much better about yourself if you just stay ready 
So this means every single time that you wake up, every single day you wake up, just take a shower, brush your hair, you know, put on moisturizer, you know, whatever you want to do, just get it done in the morning. This way, whatever you have to do in the daytime, you are already ready and you don't even have to stress out about that. Say you're going to the dollar store and you run into someone that is like kind of a big deal in the space that you want to work in. Like, say they're a huge content creator and you're all dressed, you look nice, that is probably going to motivate you to get out of your shell and go talk to them and potentially make a friend in the business that you want to be in. You know what they say, first impressions are definitely only a one-time thing. You only get one first impression and they are so, so, so important. So just staying ready is just going to benefit you so, so much. You seriously never know who you could run into or what could happen throughout the day, but either way, just being ready and just feeling good about yourself is going to motivate you to want to do so much more. So that is all. My rant is finally over. I know I talked a lot. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoy this type of content, please subscribe below and hit the like button. Comment if you want. I'm going to be doing a lot more of these types of videos. And I am honestly so excited to be back doing YouTube. I will leave my Instagram below. I have changed it ever since my last video. I made an Instagram specifically for YouTube content just to really stay in touch with everybody and post what I want to post on there and stay connected to the YouTube community. So I hope you guys can take all of these tips in and act on them and make this your year, guys. Let's all stop putting off what we really want to do, what our goals are, what our dreams are. We all deserve this and we all deserve to have an amazing life. If working, if working is your thing, if content creation is your thing, whatever it is, we deserve to have what we want, but we're only going to have it if we work for it. So let's get started today, okay? So thank you guys so, so much for watching and thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you in the next video.